Yo, what's up? It's Jonathan Belcher here making this video. We're going to start off with our daily affirmation. I ain't going to waste no time. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. One more time. Say it with me. Say it with me. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. In this video, I just want to kind of clarify the vision for you. Uh, who I am. Where I come from. Uh, don't come from a rich family. I come from a low income to middle class family from new york also have a lot of family down south shout out to my cousins down south in atlanta south carolina north carolina uh even got some family a little bit of family in florida as well um but yeah like just a typical kid you know grew up in long island well i moved from queens to long island and started to go to school in Long Island and then I went to college in, back to college in Queens. And then when I got into college, that's when I decided I wanted to take a different path than what most people take. Because originally I wanted to be a doctor when I was a kid, but I didn't know, like, you know, a lot of stress came with being a doctor. I didn't know the intricacies of becoming a doctor and being in the health profession. I just knew it was a prestigious job and I knew that it was something that was well respected. And then I went away to, my dad sent me away to this college program before I went officially went to college. I was in the 12th grade and my dad sent me away to this program in the University of Maryland. University of Maryland, I went there for two weeks with other uh, advanced students from other schools in the, in the United States. It was a two week program for basically aspiring doctors. And in this two week program event, I learned that it wasn't for me, you know, because I went into this room. There was this lab room we we had to go into. I'll never forget it. I'm like, I was like in 11th grade at this time going into 12th. And this was like that summer, 11th going into 12th grade. So we're all here at this university and like they would give us like this schedule sheet where we had certain things we had to do every single day, meet up with the group at a certain point, and we'd go and speak to doctors, we'd go. But this one day we went into this lab room and it was filled with like dead bodies and students who were doing their residency, who was going to the University of Maryland. They were basically using these bodies uh, so that they could get good at becoming a doctor. You know, these bodies were experimental bodies and stuff. And I remember this smell when I walked into the room, the smell was crazy. They had to spray this chemical all throughout the room constantly to basically suppress the smell of, you know, of course, a dead corpse. A lot of corpses in the room, so they got to suppress that smell. And I just remember being there, standing right next to the body that they were working on and just getting real queasy, getting really nauseous and just saying to myself, making up in my mind right then and there that, look, this is not for me. I don't want to be around this every day. You know, I, I don't want to be around blood every day. I'm not really that type of person. So make a long story short, next year, uh, two years later, I'm in college. And I'm in college doing basically a double major because Queens College didn't have pre-med as a major. They had it as a program. So I was a psychology major and I was a part of the pre-med program at this time. But... You know, I'm still figuring it out. Even though I had the bad experience before that at the University of Maryland, I'm like, you know what? Let me just see what it's about. So then, make a long story short, my cousin hit me up one day and he invites me to come to a meet, go to, go to this meeting, a business meeting, you know, at somebody's house, which I thought was very different. I'm like, oh, a business meeting at somebody's house. And he's like, yeah, I need you to come check it out. I know you're open-minded. I know you're serious about business and you're, you're you're ambitious. I would really like you to come check out what they're talking about at this house. So I'm like, all right, no problem. I'll, I'll go. This was my cousin Maka that told me that basically invited me to this meeting. I go to the meeting in Long Island. A very cool, nice family in, in, invites us into the house. And then they start, they grab out the whiteboard. They bring it into the living room. 
and they start showing the plan, right? They start talking about the products. They start talking about the compensation plan. They start talking about, then this is when it really, really hit me that I need to get into a business like this. When they started talking about residual income, because that aspect made sense to me, you know, like building a network and basically from you and that network working together you become a self-sufficient team, if you will, and you guys make money together. It made sense to me. But I didn't know that this was such like a business that a lot of people, this was the kind of industry where certain nine to five people were afraid of. They saw it as a scam. They saw it as, you know, not a legitimate business model. I knew it was a legitimate business model. It doesn't take me much time for something to click and something to make sense to me. If you a representative of a company and you pushing and moving their products, then yeah, you should get a compensation for that. The question is how much of a compensation you get. And you know what I'm trying to say? Some companies are gener generous with the compensation plan. Others are less generous. Different companies have different products. But you get the point of what I'm trying to say. I understood the business model of financial freedom, not having to work a nine to five job for the next 30 to 40 years, giving up your time to some vision of a company that you're not even really, really a part of. They could replace you at any given time. So there I was, this kid, I was just excited and happy to hear about a business opportunity. And some of you know the story, I did get started in that business opportunity from that very first meeting. Uh, I invested like $290 and got started in that. Then uh, I failed miserably, got into another business about three months later, similar, same network marketing thing, went through a same training process, went from hotel to hotel, uh, I'm learning the plan. I'm going to my upline's house. He's showing the plan. So we're watching the people in the sponsored who sponsored us in the company, right? I'm watching the people who sponsored me in the company. They're talking to other people. And that's how we learn is from seeing your sponsor talk to other people. You learn how to speak to people. But I started to realize that most of these people in these companies were doing so much work to make a little bit of money. So I didn't have a problem with the business model. I didn't have a problem with so much of the aspect of having to build a team. I didn't have a problem with that. I knew I knew it would take work. Of course, anything you're trying to build that's worth building, that's going to be profitable and take care of you and your family, of course, it's going to take work for you to build that. So I, I didn't have no problem with that. I was cool with all that. My problem was, I said, there's got to be a better strategy. There's got to be a better strategy besides making a fucking list of friends and family and then after you exacerbate that list of friends and family, then you start talking to strangers out there in the street and just kind of looking like a fool, just pitching a business opportunity to strangers. So I said, there's got to be a better way to do this. So the first three weeks in the new company, right, because I quit the first one, the first three weeks in the new company, I'm basically watching the motions of how everything is. And is, I'm getting like it's like the same experience that I was having before. So I'm like, nah, the definition of insanity is what? Is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So I said, nah, I'm going to do something different in this company than what everybody else is doing. Because y'all doing the same shit and I don't see this as something that's really working. You putting all this time in, you're meeting up with people, you're picking people up and all for them not to join or buy your product. So I said, there's got to be a better way to go about network marketing. So I started to do research. I started to do research, research. I'm up wee hours in the night doing research online. You know, because it's like, I want to make money in network marketing. I didn't join a new business just to fail again. I'm not that type of person. If I really get started in a business, I'm going to work that business. I'm going to give it my all. And I got, I'm i going to do what it do before I ever fix my face to say that it's a scam or blame the company. Because essentially, I signed up for it and I knew what I was signing up for. But I knew there was a better way to go about this. It wasn't like I didn't see the potential. It's just that the strategies and the how-tos... I was looking for better how-tos of a better way to build a team. So then I just started to think and it started to make sense to me. I'm like, I wonder if people online build a large team from the internet. I wonder if people are able to build a large team being from working from home, understanding how to market using the internet. So I started doing research and guess what? You know how life is, seek and you shall find. I kept digging and digging and I finally ran into a video a video similar to this one where this guy was a multimillionaire and he was talking about basically the concept of being able to make more money doing less work, leveraging the internet. And now I just get up from my seat and I'm looking in the computer like this and I'm listening to him talk every single word coming out of his mouth. I'm listening and I'm engaged because I'm like, 
this makes sense. You know, uh, I have, you know, I'm, I was just thinking about business and I was just thinking about how many people that I know from the online space who I really respected and I really um, wanted to learn from and I didn't even meet them in person. So that concept made sense for me. And I thought that concept would make sense for other people. So I was like, you know what? I like this guy's talking about. So once again, being the investor that I am, I'm only like 21 at this time. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to invest to learn from this course. I'm going to get mentored by this guy because I need to learn how to leverage the internet in a certain way to be able to build a large team. I didn't want to build a team slow. I wanted to build a team fast. That was my thing, building a team fast. I didn't want to go around my town wasting all this gas and energy just to not build a team. I figured if I could put myself in a space online where a lot of people can see me in my message, the chances of me making more sales and growing a team would be quicker. So that's how I was thinking. Get started in this with this training thing, with this, you know, it's a train it was a training slash opportunity thing. And that was basically my real first introduction into internet marketing, right? That was my first introduction into I didn't know the journey I was about to embark on. It was just a new thing, but I was willing to give it a shot. And you'll be so surprised what just being willing to give it a shot how much that could change your life and change your future and give you a real direction at some point, you know? Because when you're young, you're trying to figure it out. At that time, I was trying to figure it out. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that there was some calling for me to do something where I didn't have to ask anybody for help. I wanted to do something where I could make money independent of time. I knew I wanted to have, be in business because I always seen business as the means to help people become free. I always seen business as one of the easiest ways to really impact people's lives and while in the process of impacting your own life. Like, you know, with nine to five jobs, it's kind of like you're working for this corporation, but you're not really in a position to give other people jobs and provide jobs to people and really impact the world like you want to. So I knew that I wanted to do something with business at that age. I just didn't know if it would be, uh, you know, with having to do with marketing. But make a long story short, um, you know, I get in two, three months, I'm struggling, but I'm learning from the training course. But that's the most important part. You can't just learn from a training course. If you do decide to invest with any mentor, even if it's me or anybody in business, you don't want to just learn, 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 learn. You want to learn and take action while you're learning. That's to, that's how you make maximize uh how good a training is going to work for you. You got to be learning from the training and applying what it's teaching you at the same time, even while you're trying to learn. Because a lot of times through the action is how you're going to grow. Through the action of doing something is how you're going to get better at it. Through actually doing something is how you master it. So drop a comment below if this is making sense. If you're following my story, drop a comment below. I want you. I want to know you're here with me and you're following along. You're hearing me out, right? Because I think this is important for you to understand who I am and where I'm from. Uh, now, you know, my family, I faced a lot of opposition, especially when I joined the first company. Like, my mom was like, what are you doing joining that company? It's a scam, yada, yada, yada. You know, my mom don't didn't really believe in that stuff at all. You know, a lot of people who work nine to five, they don't really see the vision of building a network. They don't understand how building a network creates profit and income. So I knew I was bringing something new to my tribe, if you will, to my family, to my, my friends. I knew I was opening up the door to a whole new world for people, but I still felt like I needed to stand firm on what I believed in and what I really wanted to, to achieve. I knew I couldn't just listen to everybody around me just because they didn't believe in something. I knew there was something there. And in times in life where you know something is some is there, you can't let nobody talk you out of that. You can't let nobody trick you out of your position and tell you how you should be moving. If you know something is somewhere, you got to keep digging, baby. You got to keep digging and digging and digging and digging until you strike gold, until you strike your diamonds, until you get to where you want to get to. You can't listen to the people on the sideline who's just speculating and ridiculing and criticizing. You got to listen to the people who are in the game with you. You know what I'm trying to say? So... I worked this company and then next thing you know, uh, sales started to come in. Sales started to roll in and I started to actually live out the dream of earning income in my sleep. I thought that was just some fake fairy tale nonsense before I got into business. But I realized fast that this is some real shit. There's people out there really making money in their sleep from creating content, 
marketing on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And I'm like, yo, this is real. So I started to make money. Money started rolling in every single day, every single week, every single month. And I'm like, wow, I could really get with this. You know what I'm trying to say? Next thing you know, at this time, I was working as a security guard. I was working uh, for this Jewish security company. And I was getting only $8.50 an hour. And I would go to different nursing homes and basically secure the premises, make sure that no body came or or nobody left the building, no patients eloped or left the building. So that was my job at this time, making $8.50 an hour. It literally got to the point where I said, I could quit this job. I'm looking at my job income and I'm like, I'm making enough in my online business with my online training and what I've learned to quit this job. So of course, you know what happened. Next thing you know, manager says something that pissed me off. She said something that really pissed me off. I was like, you know what? I quit. I quit this nine to five job. I quit working as a security guard and I never looked back since. Um, but even still, understand that it's still a journey. It was still like ups and downs, even in the whole process is ups and downs, but the ups and downs you elevating as it's like, it's like it starts off ups and downs here, then ups and downs here. Then, then you're on a whole new level dealing with your ups and downs. You ever heard the saying where they say new levels uh, means new devils or something like that, right? Well, that's kind of how it is. But what my vision is now is, see, I, I basically, I'm not a part of any companies anymore that I don't have any control over. Personally, that's just me. I do work with a lot of people who are in companies, these types of companies, and there's nothing wrong with it. You know, these companies are very great companies when it comes to financial freedom when done right, when having the right training, when you can use the internet to leverage your time and your income, it can really, really help you out and change your life. But now everything that I do is really, I have a lot more control on how I train and teach people. And it's not like, it's not like I say something to somebody today, then somebody gets in the company and then they change something. And then now I got to go back to the person who joined me in business and explain to them why these changes happened. I never liked that stuff. I never liked waking up one day logging into my back office and seeing that they changed the compensation plan or they changed something that messed up the income or you know because companies make these decisions and you don't know why because you, you're not at the top controlling stuff so now i have full control and i said no i want to have full on integrity for every single person i work with and teach in business so that's really how i'm on it now like every single thing that i do and i teach is literally things that i actually do secrets that i use every single day to make sales and it's firsthand from me so i use a little bit of stuff outside of myself but for the most part i have full control on making sure that people i work with my partners my clients they get the right training you get the right information and everything you need to learn to become a profitable content creator even if you want to run ads for your business for yourself for your brand maybe you just want to talk about motivation or, or talk about life you want to tell your story and you want it to be heard by the world whatever all of that stuff that's what i'm here to teach but now moving forward really and truly, truly you know you know the 300 to freedom movement that's the name of the movement i started uh for freedom free freedom fighters ambitious men and women alike from all different walks of life it doesn't matter where you're from where you were born who you were born none of that matters um None of that stuff matters. All that matters is that you just, your heart and your mind is in harmony, is in the right place, and you have great intentions to serve people in the world. I'm looking for more people like that. I'm looking for more people who have something on their heart and kind of like con content creators, people who want to speak about something. And in the process of giving value to people, you make money in exchange for the value you're giving to the world. Is that a bad deal? Is that a bad thing to get a part of? Drop a comment below. Let me know if that's a bad thing to get a part of. I don't think so. I think that could really help a lot of people and change the world if we share the right kind of content with people. Because every single day, I'm looking I'm looking at the numbers. I see how much people are searching things on YouTube. I see how much people are searching things on Google. Every single day, more and more people want to learn esoteric things. They want to learn about personal development. They want to learn how to start businesses. They want to learn how to invest. They want to learn how to do stocks. There's so many different things that people can, you can become a master in an industry and really, really get your weight up, really, really level up, really level up, not only in finances, but also spiritually and mentally. As you start to realize you have a voice that people want to hear. Most people 
you know, they don't have low self-esteem, unfortunately. And that's part of my, why I started my channel, the life coaching thing, is to help people to gain a higher self-confidence and, and a better self-image. Because if you have, if your self-image is good and you have a high level of self-esteem, you're not going to get in your way. You're going to take the action you need to take. You're not going to be thinking about things that don't matter. You're going to wake up every single day with a mission on your heart to serve and to help people and to share your talent, share your gifts, share your message, all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then all you do now is you just organize all of that shit and structure it into a business to make it profitable. And this is how you turn your passion into your paycheck. So that's what the vision now is, is I want to touch a thousand families' lives and teach you how to turn your passion into a paycheck, how to become a walking brand, a walking business. That's what the mission is now, you know? And I really want to make this video an event because I need some ideas on, I don't know, give me some ideas, drop some ideas in the comment of what you think people need, how you think people want to be served right now. Uh, all of that will help because... You know, it takes more than one person to run an organization or to make a vision come true. So I know for a fact I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. So that's why I'm looking for people who want to team up, people who are like-minded, who, you know, are tired of the bullshit. People who are tired of being bogged down by bills and not having good credit and all of this, all of these, you know, um, systematic oppression things that really keep you from your destiny a lot of people are sick and tired of that and they're choosing to unsubscribe from that so i'm looking for like-minded people like that who basically want to get rich online but do it in a way where you feel fulfilled because you ain't fucking people over you ain't lying to people you're not misleading them you're telling them look this is what it is this is a business it's gonna take work to succeed i got the tools i got the strategies i got the content i got the websites you need to succeed all you got to do is plug in and I think if we share that message as a team on the 300 to Freedom Movement, if we share that message with the world, there's nothing, literally nothing that will be able to stop us. There will be nothing that will be able to stop you. There will be nothing that will be able to stop the movement from growing from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 100, 200, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 people, 1 million people. You know what I'm trying to say? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell symbol. So you can get notified whenever I make videos like this. This is more of me just venting in this video and kind of just telling my story. But I always, because there's a lot of people I know who work nine to five jobs, but they want to do something else. It's in their heart to do something else. And for some reason, they feel afraid to do it. They don't feel like they can make that tough decision to become an entrepreneur and be okay. They feel like they need a job to continue on in life. But that's not the truth. That's... You're not operating with faith when you when you're dealing with life like that. You're not really you're not really understanding how to use how to manifest. You're not really understanding how to get what you desire. You know, you really you really that's when you really think you need something outside of yourself to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You can still get the riches you want. You can still get the mansions you want.